cultural environment, our political environment, our business environment, our social environment. It's all this very complex, multi-dimensional, multi-faceted system. But there is a component of this system that has one single value, and that is the corporation. And no matter how it talks about being a good citizen and helping out these folks here and these folks here, that all has to be done in the context of enhancing profits. The one single value is growth. There is no other institution in our society that can even compare with, say, the combined effort of the Fortune 500. The 535 members of Congress can't compete. Obviously, corporations have an influence, but you know, how many people are employed by corporations, and how many people earn their livelihood, and how many people are supporting their, their twin daughters by, by corporations and the work that they do. And many people own stock and have their life savings invested in these corporations. So it's very important that corporations be healthy and successful. We want the business to be profitable. We want the product to be good. We want workers to be disciplined. We want people to come to work. We value the same things that they do. But we find that there is a divide in America between the haves and the have-nots. And that chasm is getting wider and wider and wider. I feel that any interest that's driven by the bottom line is going to miss the point of human welfare. And I know it's, it's community after community after town after town all over this nation uh, that's looking for the same thing. And we need to ask people, what are you willing to do?